Greetings, fellow solar noobs out there on YouTube. Um, got a box today from Renergy. I'm excited. Let's open this puppy up and not being too cheesy like other unboxing videos. This is just a solar noob being excited for this. So it's a rover from Renergy. It's pretty cool. Um, meant to replace my Adventure 30 PWM one. So this is an MPPT. And I am not like the gurus, Will Pros, and Todd Parker, or Explorist Life. I am a solar noob trying to figure out how to power part of my office here in Michigan with uh, renewable energy. So following in my pop's footsteps. So um, I got to do a quick video on the 2000 watt, render G2000 watt inverter um, this weekend. But I wanted to just get this out there because uh, I was pretty excited. And with the holidays, uh, I got it before Christmas because a lot of stuff is back ordered right now between supply demand and supply chain issues. I am glad that I'm okay if the power goes out. This is going to help me. So talk to you soon. So I just realized one thing. I like showed the outer part of the box, but I didn't show the inner part of the box. So this is uh, this is a lot sturdier than uh, than the Adventure Thirty. Then again, it's a price difference too. Hundred something? No, not quite hundred, but shortly under that. But yeah, this is a pretty nice heat sink on the back. Um, a different outlet um, ports for load. Again, being a solar lube, solar solar noob, I have no clue what that means, so we'll have to look it up. It does have one port for temperature gauge, which it did come with, and some interesting hanger nuts, or whatever we call it, um, and a Bluetooth port, and I do have a Bluetooth on the Adventure, so we'll have to see if they're compatible. They, they gotta be, so this is what it looks like on the front and this is what it looks like on the back it'll be interesting to see these ports so i just got a ferrule tool and did ferrule crimping so hopefully that'll make it easier to put these in so all right see ya